Hello guys, welcome back to the walkthrough. Now, as you can see, we are to the right of Court C. So, we're gonna head all the way to the right here, across the shallow water. Um, don't worry about random encounters, like I said, as long as you're in a golem, no random encounters. It's a beautiful day. So, exit your golem, head into Epitaph C. Now, first off, um, I probably should've told you this before, make sure you do have the wind-up key. Without it, you are not going anywhere. So, these machines here can be used with can have the wind-up key used on them. There we go. Now all you have to do is run north, then west, then south. Now I want to make mention though that there are there are enemies here who will tend to confuse you, which is just more of a noise than anything, and silence. Now, um, if they silence Rudy, do not even worry about it. Um, don't waste your Violet Rose on him, which I just did for some odd reason. But yeah, just um, keep in mind that they do cast out affliction. If you have any left-handed accessories that you can use to protect yourself from the from the stats afflictions, then go ahead and use it. But mostly, yeah, you can go without it if you want. Okay, so as you've seen, I just went down in onto the conveyor belt, ride it all the way up, then ride this conveyor belt to a potion berry. There you go. Now run a bit to the left and straight. And run south. Now, as you can see, the wall is a little discolored and everything, it looks broken, so go ahead and use the bomb to blow it up. Don't go on the conveyor belt, instead skip it, either go to the right or left, and then head to the staircase up here. Let's see, ah, that's right, okay, go to the left of the conveyor belt to get your first lucky card. Well, actually, I think it's your only lucky card in here. Then go on the conveyor belt, like I just did, get the magic carrot. Now take this conveyor belt here, possibly just... Yeah, um, you can run straight to the left here in order to basically just speed things up by like a second or so. So right conveyor belt, hit the switch, then all you have to do is run again, all the way back around, touch the conveyor belt, and you are going to go right back to the switch, so keep that in mind. Now, go on this conveyor belt to the right. Run to the right here, and just walk onto the conveyor belt. Now take the right side of the conveyor, conveyor belt down, run, run left, go up the staircase. No, the door! Are we trapped? Someone has trapped us in. I'm ready. I'll kick as many buses as I have to get us out of here. Oh, look, Lucy. Okay, so since he's an animal, use the wand. Pop his head. Come with me. He's cool. So anyways, you won't get into random encounters here. All you have to do is follow Luc Lucy all the way to basically wherever he takes you. Personally, I like the more direct route, but um, I don't, I've never actually veered off his path before. So yeah, if you guys want to veer off and see what happens, go crazy. Because I even I don't know. And we're just about done here. I want him again, and he says, my master awaits. That vibration, it was a guardian. <sighs> the only guardian who has not lost its powers. The guardian of the desire, Lucy, the black wolf. Did she lock us in here? That's interesting, actually. Why is a guardian helping a demon? Hmm, I wonder if it gets um, cleared up towards the end. That'd be actually rather interesting to learn. Okay, so I will recommend you guys save. The boss here is actually very hard. Well, not very hard, but he can be very hard because he's fast. So anyways, um, once you decide to save or not, um, head to the doorway, run to the right, flick the switch using hand pan. He will obviously unlock the door. Use hand pan to get this, Metal Bird. This book contains theories and applications for the flying machine known as the Metal Bird. All right, oops, click this next switch here. Then you're gonna want to ignore that room up there. There's a machine with a password generator, well, it's the password, a uh, computer that needs a password, and in order to find a password, you can go up here, talk to the bookshelves, and yeah, just, yeah, so um, if you want the password, read the books on the bookshelf, and just basically remember what's on there. So first off, what you want to do is you want to go down to the down path, use hand band to get the Agile Apple, and I think it's another Agile, no, oh, finally, Mystic, Mystic Apple. So, give it to her, split the Agile Apple between all three, run north, Talk to the computer here. Password. The ones who seek the ocean wind, you shall receive the gift of flight. Now, if you remember, there was actually a talk about the metal bird. Um, so yeah, obviously. Well, maybe not obvious, but yeah. That password here will be metal bird. Make sure you put that space in. Otherwise, obviously, <laughs> otherwise it won't work. So, metal bird. And um, not that discreetly hidden because you can see the top of the of the decal on the top of the staircase so yeah just have to have a good eye for seeing it so that's where you want to run to so let's go up there and yeah head up the staircase 
Now what you want to do is you're going to want to ignore this. No, don't ignore that. Um, go down here. Ignore that for now. Actually, no. Use the duplicator. Unlock it. And get your chests here. Press grab. I think another press grab. Wow, secret side. I know right then. Oops. And bullet clip. Okay, so basically one one thing for each character. Um, as you can see, I have one empty consumption of my meter dive. And I'm still uncertain whether I want to use heat it for heal blade. So I'm just going to keep it in reserves. Until I figure out what I need. So head down south here and you'll get your next um, your next tool. When Rudy uses the roller skates to travel, Rudy can maneuver through different terrains without being affected by damage zones on the ground. Alright, so as you can as you can probably guess from this, you can use it to cross conveyor belts that are going in opposing directions. Oopsies. And it's also good because what when in use, it doesn't actually um, cause random counters, your encounter rate too to move whatsoever. I don't even know if that made sense, but yeah. So use it here, and... Oh, yes, okay, I know how to say it. You won't get random encounters when you use it. <laughs> that was very simple to say, but I don't know why it took... I don't know why it's so hard. So go up the ladder to your left. And we're actually almost done here, so... Get the treasure chest. And your... Yeah. Reflex should go to, I think, him. No, oh, okay. So it goes to him. There you go. And increases defense even more. Is Vitality, just saying. Now run to the right first, run down, run right, and then go up. Now use the wind up key on all of them, and you'll get yourself um, a, a fast draw hint. You have to try and leave before um, before you get the hint. Wow, I didn't think it would blow up. The explosion occurred because of a buildup of internal energy. What? In English, please. English! Then energy level got too high in too close of a space. Do you know what that what happens when energy overloads? You got it. It blows up. I'm gonna apply that knowledge to a new fast draw technique. Alright, so those of you who can pretty much gather what's gonna happen is this fast draw technique is an is an AoE explosion one. What'll happen is once you learn it, you'll hit your target for full damage and the enemies are surrounding it will take less damage. But it's it still hits pretty hard and it's a better AoE attack than Let's see, I think it's Wind Slash, Sonic Buster. It's a better AoE attack than this. So yeah, and now here is where you're going to need to heal up. So use Cecilia and her heal. There we go. Um, what you want to do is take off Silver Harp, and probably if you're like not even, if Cecilia's not level at least 23, have her have Orb of Power. You're going to want to try and keep her alive. So um, Mystic Ward and Reflex is equipped. Good. There we go. All right. So now we're ready. Walk up to fight the boss. Human warriors, what do you wish to carve in this epitaph? This is the resting place of the dreams of the sea, wind seekers. This guy is pretty cool. A new demon, but this one seems a little different. It see that you have followed Lucy's direction as well. Lucy, the guardian of desire. Why? Why are you siding with the demons? My name is Boomerang. Here's a little something I've cooked up for your party. Alright guys, I'm not going to BS you guys. This is actually a pretty hard fight because Boomerang is fast and so is Lucid. So, yeah, just be careful with these guys. Alright, so first off, he has Boomerang has 15,000 HP, Lucid has 8,000, so you're, obviously your first start should be Lucid. They'll both drop 8,400 experience and try to be at least level 25 when you get here. At least Jack and Rudy. Cecilia, just um, like I said, have the Orb of Power equipped. I think I'll, sh I'll show you guys again. Yeah, lower power equip, so her HP will increase by 25%. Alright, so basically, all you have to do is, if you have hand cannon maxed out, perfect, because, well, actually no, if you have rocket launcher maxed out, perfect, but if hand cannon is still your strongest arm, you're going to want to use that instead. So, what you want to do first is focus your attacks on Lucid, use your strongest arm against him. Now with Jack, use Meteor Dive and Heal Blade when you need to heal. Cecilia? have her cast slow down on Boomerang. You want him not to go crazy and hit you like crazy. Because just because he'll, he'll most of the time, most of the time he will attack first unless you start slowing him down. So, let's let this play out.
Okay, so as you can see, Jack, you do need a secondary healer here, so Jack's heal blade will come in will come in handy. Um, Rudy, if his like I said, if his rocket launcher is maxed out, he takes off nearly three thousand. Um, over three thousand if Lucy here has been armored down twice. So use rocket launcher again on Lucy. Jack, make sure everybody's above eight hundred. Um, yeah, make sure everybody's above eight hundred, and you should be fine. Just because of boomerangs, boomerang dynamite. Now Lucy here, he his attack is called Black Bang. It'll oh you see <laughs> yeah you see it. It'll normally do about five hundred single character. So yeah, once Jack actually has his force level three, make sure you use it, and everything should go swimmingly. Yeah, everything will go swim swimmingly. As long as Lucy is gone, you cannot be when your your characters will survive. Well, both I should say you both you'll have at least two turns to heal up. No, you'll have at least one turn to heal up. Sorry about that, guys. Get a little mixed up here. So, yeah. Um, Jack. Heal Blade. And Cecilia. Another heal. So, that is basically the strategy. Slow down on... Oh, damn. Slow down on Boomerang whenever you get the chance. Heal Blade, Jack. He, you have Jack use Heal Blade as a secondary healer because you definitely will need it for this one. Have Rudy consistently use his strongest arms and focus down Lucid first, then focus down Boomerang. Once Cecilia is done slowing down and armor downing Boomerang, have Jack join the party and have, basically have Cecilia be be the main healer. So we're going to use Rocket Launcher on Boomerang. Um, ignore that for now. And Rocket Launcher. Cecilia. Oh, what the hell? Rocket Launcher, there we go. Okay. Meter dive. Meter dive to hit it for about. A little over a thousand. Okay, so heal up with Cecilia. So that is actually strategy. So um, yeah, just continue watching and see how everything will play out. Static fools going up against the demon race. Wow, I forgot to lose lucky card again. Darn it. Oh well. Um, yeah, if you guys want to do a bit of XP grinding, do it here in Epitaph C because the experience will tend to match up with the Gela. And that's 
you'll normally at level 25 you'll get over level 25 below you'll get over 1000 experience so it's a good time to level up and plus with each battle you should get at least a thousand gela so yeah um go crazy here because there is no actual town after we leave court same to buy armor from so yeah anyways let's continue on the cycle of desire never ends lucid lives if you wish to defeat me you must attain the miracle you seek if you can win that for yourself i shall appear again he was just testing us that's interesting so basically boomerang i don't boomerang boomerang just does what he wants so yeah um get go here get the rune drive what you want to do is use escape and from here have your escape go up northwest go down the stairs there now use the um, basically escape to go across obviously you need it to get here um, so get your duplicator and a talisman let's actually check what the talisman does recover battle hp battle turn step so every step you take will recover your hp in battle you'll recover approximately 175 yeah you should yeah in battle you should recover 175 it's good for the level you are now but once you're like level 40 50 it should be quite ineffective unless it's equipped on rudy so yeah yeah now all we have to do here is head back to court scene all right, so here we are back in court. Same. All you have to do here is go back to Nikolai Maxwell. That would be Calamity Jane's father. So go here, here, and go down the stairs. You found the missing rune drive. I never thought that it would be hidden at Epitaph. I'll explain about the rune drive tomorrow. You must come. My daughter is waiting. We have a little banquet planned for you. All right then. So we're basically gonna pig out until we find something to do. Now, if you don't want to talk to everybody and learn a bunch of things, then just get, make sure Rudy is your leading character. Talk to Calamity Jane. It's been a while. It's good to see all of you again. Hey, when everyone is asleep, can you sneak out for a bit? I have something I need to talk to you about. Yeah, so basically Calamity Jane is a dirty girl. Just kidding. So once you're done, go up the stairs. Take, go into the left room and talk to the butler guy. McDullin. Shall we wrap up the party and call it a night? Now, once you like, yes, you'll... Have no, you have, you'll have no more chance to talk to everybody, so if you want to learn a few things, go ahead and talk to everybody. Otherwise, go to bed. Please wait a minute. Your beds will be ready a little later. I feel bad making you hang out with me just because I couldn't sleep. I didn't wake anyone, did I? Isn't it silly that Calamity Jane became a treasure hunter for a bunch of orphans? Nuh uh. Thanks, Rudy. I knew I could count on you. We used to live in Milano, but we spent all our money taking care of the kids. We drifted all the way to this desolate place, and here we are. I hate this kind of life, but what can I do? I hate my father for giving people false hope. Kindness and care have no place in this wasteland. He gives people hope just to have it shattered by reality. That's cruel. You are making this journey to protect Fulgaia, right? Why? Why are you doing this? For money? For fame? To be a king, like in the fairy tales? Any of those reasons are fine. Just don't tell me it's for some noble cause, like saving the world. I dislike it when kindness is thrown at just anyone. Kindness should be personally valued and expressed only to those you care about. Otherwise, I'm hurt that you saved me just because you felt obligated to. Sometimes I think a day will come when dawn will no longer appear. Promise me, Rudy. Promise me that you're risking your life because you love Filgaia. That is the reason why you can sacrifice so much, right? If not, I'll never be able to let you do gooder types. Jane's words seep deep inside Rudy's heart. Now, this is the force level 3. This will basically increase your defense and cause you to defend other characters. So yeah, it's rather useful, especially if you've been giving Rudy the vitality apples. Was it? No, the hearty apples and increasing his vitality. Yeah. So yeah. <gasps> I'll hazard. I tend to run into these situations a lot. I came here this morning because I have a matter to discuss with a pretty lady. Could you kindly deliver the Rune Drive rumor to be in your mansion to us within three hours? If you don't deliver it, we'll slaughter everyone in sight in order to find it. Do you understand one another? I'll assume you'll make the right decision. Well, we can't just sit here. I must go wake everyone up. In the past, I excavated the other Rune Drive from another ruin. Just in case, I hid the Rune Drive in the sacred shrine to the south of the forest. A sacred field prevents monsters from entering the shrine. 
We will excavate. We will evacuate everyone to the shrine. Please watch over the village for us. Jane, please watch over the people of the village. Gotcha. I like how Hanpan's about half the height of the care of the, your main party. <laughs> That's one big rat. So yeah, um, or mouse, I guess in this case. It's too quiet. Are the demons late? Okay, so as you can, you pro as you can probably guess, this is a total uh, setup. Um, the demons are not going to show up in town. Instead, they're gonna. They know that Nikolai would would go to the sacred shrine to protect the villagers. So yeah, um, and I believe this is your chance to. No, it's not your chance to sleep for free. Darn. I thought it was like Saint Santor. Anyways, um, this is the end of the episode. Next episode, we're going to check out the sick shrine. And actually, you're going to fight one hell of a boss. Way more badass than Boomerang was. So, yeah. Try to be... Tr please, try to be at least level 20, 25, okay? Because this guy, the next boss is insanely tough. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And come back to m next time to see what happens next. <laughs> see you guys.